Okay, so Andrew, we're uh, we're going for a bit of a drive here. Absolutely. Uh, on the off-road course that you set up, and we're in one of the Pro 4X models, correct? And you were telling me that um, the Pro 4X, more sort of off-road oriented version of the Titan, was actually a real surprise seller for you in the previous generation. How so? Like, to walk me through the numbers there. Um, so Titan did uh, did well, at least for us, uh, on the recreational buyer side uh, with the previous generation. So our our most selling model was uh, was exactly this version on our model year 15 and before. So um, you know, Pro 4 X truck, crew cab, short box, um, off road oriented, uh, some of the off road features, Bill's T shocks, electronic rear locking differential. These are some of the, the kind of the features that people like to. Uh, to have in their truck. A skid plate. Yeah, skid plate front and underneath the oil pan for sure. Uh, the suspension setup is just different, gives you a little more ride height, a little bit more articulation. Um, uh, you have uh, better angles of approaches and departures to go up and down on uh, you know, uneven terrain or rocks. I, I noticed that when I was driving around the um, XD diesel, non Pro 4X, uh, um, a few months ago, that you know, driving it around the city, there were times where uh, I had to be careful in arcades. Um, is it going to be? Is that going to be a, a, an issue for Pro 4X drivers, or even more so of one? Do you think? Uh, are you talking about uh, roof clearance? Yeah, clearance? exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, if you look at Titan uh, non XD, uh, definitely shorter, lower, uh, lower stance than an XD, so no issue there. Uh, in terms of uh, ride height differences, we're talking 20 millimeters for uh, Titan non Pro 4 to Pro 4. So pretty, uh, so pretty minimal. Yeah, absolutely. And on XD side, uh, all all trucks, including Pro 4X, are at the same ride height. Same ride height. Okay. Um, now, here's the interesting thing. We were talking earlier about how Pro 4X has been a very popular model for you in years past, but a lot of people aren't actually going out and using these off-road. Can you break down those numbers for me? Yeah, so from what we see, the data shows us that about 5% of truck buyers actually actively use their truck off-road. Um, from time to time, people want the features to... Yeah. Turn off the radar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, people want the features uh, for the ability to do so, uh, but those that actually use it regularly is is quite small. So, is it more of an image thing? Do you think? Is that why people are going for for four x four packages? Yeah. Uh, so a little bit. Uh, obviously, people want to uh, you know want the truck to look good. They want it to look sporty. Uh, but there is uh, you know usefulness behind this, and you know whether it's just a dirt road heading up to the cottage or uh, you know into the backcountry for fishing, skiing, hunting, whatever they need. Um, you know, the day that you need these features, you're very happy that you have them. You're happy you've yeah. got them. Yeah. Look at that view. It's fantastic. We it? are looking over the St. Lawrence right now. I've got to get out actually. I've got to take a take a video. Can I do that? You have to. All right, great. Uh, this. One thing I had sort of seen from um, viewers when they were seeing that I was going to be out on this was that they were sort of saying we've seen some differential leaks and whatnot in the past, and they wanted to sort of uh, they wanted me to ask about that in terms of I think how things have changed with the uh, with the next generation. Uh, in terms of uh, you know transmission, we can definitely talk about how the the powertrain and transmission are all new for uh, for 2017. Um, in terms of uh, you know quality reliability, as they were going into uh, the 2017 model year, uh, quality was obviously one of the top things on their mind. Um, so I, I can't get into specifics in terms of what was changed. What I can say though is the confidence behind the engineering is being backed up by the warrant. So uh, one new major announcement that we made for the model year 17 was going to a five-year, 160,000 kilometer bumper to bumper warranty, mm -hmm. which will include all the powertrain components. Um, and so that hopefully is uh, you know an homage to uh, to the engineers' confidence in uh, their uh, R and D and engineering into the components. Uh, t tell me a bit more about the V8. How's it changed? What's new? Uh, lots of things have changed. So you're going to be going around here to the left. Yeah. Um, so going from same 5.6 liter V8 block, uh, however added added uh, direct injection, variable valve, vent and lift. Uh, we've done some uh, some pretty neat work with uh, heating and cooling uh, management of the of the engine and transmission. Uh, so power output has uh, risen significantly. We've gone from 317 horse to 390 horsepower. Uh, torques uh, up a little bit, so it's from uh, 385 to 394 foot pounds for this uh, this uh, version. Uh, but fuel economy is also uh, yeah fuel economy is also up uh, by 28 percent. So. So much needed fuel economy improvements, which we're very happy to have for model year 17. Yeah, that's a big, big improvement. It's interesting how the, the Titan now has a few different sort of branches in which you can focus on. And, you know, depending on what application you, what, what your daily use for this vehicle will be, it'll depend on which vehicle you choose yep. or with, you choose to buy ultimately. 
So can you break that down in terms of what the half ton's good for, what the gas uh, XD is good for, and what the diesel XD is good sure. for? So, uh, you know, obviously the traditional half ton buyer, um, they're after uh, an, a well rounded, good everyday truck. So they don't have a, necessarily a specific uh, need, whether it be payload or towing. They just want to be able to do, you know, what a truck does well with confidence um, and with reliability. As we move into the XD family, now we're looking into specialization. So, XD gas, its main specialty. Roger, which way are we going? The XD gas specialty will definitely be uh, payload applications. So these are going to be customers that uh, have specialized tools that they're carrying in the back. Uh, they might need a sled deck, uh, bring an ATV or motorcycle around. Um, XD gas will be the truck for them. XD diesel will be a towing specialist. So this is if you've got a specific you know, work trailer, gooseneck trailer, a boat, RV, uh, and you, you, you know what these uh, requirements are, uh, XD diesel will definitely be uh, the tow and what do you think the breakdown is going to be ultimately in terms of sales? Sales, uh, we're aiming about uh, 70 to 75 percent half ton, uh, so Titan. Um, that's where the market traditionally is. Right. Um, and then uh, the, the remaining 20 25 percent will be split between XT Gas, XT Diesel. So how big of a deal was this for you? I mean, you look at the F series of trucks, you look at the Ram or the Sierra series of trucks, and they have you know uh, half tons, three quarter tons, and boof, uh, moving into the more heavy duty vehicles as well. In terms of a play to get after that same kind of market share. So the, I mean, the play for the XD was was really we're not trying to go head to head to a, a full three quarter ton truck. Um, you know, we're, we're we want to explore that white space that, that that exists between the traditional half ton and the traditional three quarter ton vehicle. Previously, customers who were you know in a half ton and needed more truck, um, Nissan didn't have an offering for them. They had to they had to leave our brand or they they had to consider other other vehicles uh, and move up to uh, you know a three quarter ton variant. Um, now with the XD, what we do notice is about 90% of people that are towing um, don't need the full capability of a, of a three-quarter ton truck. Um, they're towing under 10,000 pounds. Their half ton just doesn't do it with enough confidence. They want a little bit more confidence, and this is where XD will, will be perfect for them. So we can now keep them in the Nissan family, or at least attract them to the Nissan family with this uh, product offering. Ultimately, do you expect the Pro 4X to continue to be the uh, the, the, the best seller in your line? Actually, I, I do not. I think um, with the expansion of the lineup, um, as we're gearing up more towards uh, you know work capable trucks, uh, I definitely see. Um, uh, an expansion towards the work side, so SV uh, SV Premium, SV Base, where uh, you know work oriented vehicle. I definitely think we're going to pick up some volume there. Um, but this is you know the iconic vehicle that has been Titan in the past. Will continue to sell quite well for us. So now is the time uh, for Nissan to really try and branch into the uh, uh, tradesperson, workers kind of truck, rather than a recreationalist truck specifically. Yeah, I agree, and I think uh, you know as we mentioned before, the XT platform will definitely be good for that. All also, the regular cab eight foot box offering will be huge for uh, the tradesman, uh, the contractor, those that need you know serious workspace uh, in the bed of the truck. So regular cab to be released very shortly as well as pricing? Uh, yeah, we'll have regular cab on ground uh, sometime by mid-November and uh, pricing should be uh, in the next couple weeks. It's a pretty niche truck. You're looking for uh, for for a work truck with you know just a couple of seats and uh, and a longer bed. Yeah, we're talking about you know five percent of market share, but again for those fleet customers that you know need this in their portfolio, they didn't have a Nissan offering before. They had to go elsewhere. So in this case, we're able to you know be a one-stop shop for a lot of these customers. Right. Right on. Great Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much. Yeah, my pleasure.